you're seeing this video, I guess you're the ones who needed to beat math. But we're gonna have to hurry. They found the location of our safe house. So I'm gonna have to teach you these secrets as fast as possible, okay? Mission Math Basics. We need to know about factors, multiples, prime numbers, and composite numbers. All right, this is what you gotta know. Agent factor. A factor of a number can be divided into the number without leaving a remainder. So now you know who factor is. Let me show you how to find him at all times. Let's take for example 28. To find all the factors, let's start by writing the smallest counting number, which is 1. Now jot this down. This is your first mission note. 1 is the smallest factor of any number. So all this means that 1 divided into 28 is equal to a whole number and 1 times that whole number is equal to 28. This whole number would be another factor of 28. Well, the unknown answer is 28. Let's place it at the end of our line. Next mission note. The largest factor of any number is the number itself. So 1 times 28 is equal to 28. Now let's fill in the middle of our factor line for 28. Let's use the next counting number after 1, which is 2. 2 times what is equal to 28? Well, the answer is 14. 2 times 14 is equal to 28. So both 2 and 14 are factors of 28. And we'll just add them to our factor line. So now let's move on to the next counting number, which is 3. Let's see if it's a factor of 28. 3 times what would be equal to 28? Well, remember, a factor of a number divides into the number without leaving a remainder. So let's check. 3 divided into 28. Now using my trusted calculator, and you can also check your timetable, I've discovered that 3 goes into 28 9 times, but it leaves a remainder of 1. So it is not a factor of 28, so let's just get rid of it. Next is 4. 4 times what is equal to 28? Well, 4 times 7 is equal to 28. Please note again, your timetable is a very good way to recheck if a number is a factor of another number or not. So let's factor in both 4 and 7 into our factor line. <laughs> Lol, factor in. Anyway, we are not going to look at 5 and I'm going to show you why with our next mission note. 5 is only a factor of numbers ending in a 5 or a 0. As for 6, I checked my timetable and no, 6 is not a factor of 28. So we've checked 6 and 7, two consecutive numbers, so that means our factor line is now complete. All factors of 28 are now accounted for. So now the last thing, our special little fact on factors. Every number is a factor of itself. Before I forget, it is imperative that you join the Google Classroom for further notes, missions, and the quizzes links. Now, let's move on to our next agent of maths, multiples. So let me tell you real quick about agent multiple. A multiple of a number is the product given when the number is multiplied by another number or itself. So now you know who multiple is. Let's use 12 to show you how to find him. So a multiple is the product given when the number is multiplied by another number. So that means 12 times another number is equal to the multiple of 12. So to get the very first multiple of 12, Let's start with the smallest counting number, which is 1. 
So we have 1 times 12 is equal to a multiple of 12. Well, the answer is 12. And now for our very first mission note. The smallest multiple of any number is the number itself. So we get the swing of this. So let's list out some more multiples of 12. So solving these, we go as far as 12,000 being a multiple of 12. And this makes you wonder, what is the largest multiple of 12? Well, jot down this next mission note. The number of multiples of any given number is infinite. This means there is no end and the number of multiples go on and on. Because we could even multiply 12 by a million to get 12 million, which is also a multiple of 12. So let's just add to our multiple line for 12. We have 12, then 24, then 36, then 48, and then etc, etc, etc. And if you notice, there is a trend in finding the next multiple of a number. You just add the number to the previous multiple. So we have 12 plus 12 to give 24, 24 plus 12 to give 36, and 36 plus 12 to give 48. And if you want to find the number after 48, then just add 48 plus 12 to get the next multiple of 12. So this covers how we find multiples. Now, before I forget, here's our special little fact on multiples. Every number is a multiple of itself. As we said before, every number is also the smallest multiple of itself. So now let's move on to our last agents of math, prime and composite numbers. Now let me give you the lowdown on agent prime. A prime number has only two factors, one and itself. Agent prime has a lot of pride. He doesn't appreciate a lot of factors getting in his way and that's why he only keeps two around and one is a copy of himself. Now, agent composite. A composite number has more than two factors. Unlike prime, agent composite is more complex and likes to be surrounded by many factors, at least three of them. So we're just going to use a table to sort whether the numbers are prime or composite. As always, we'll start with the smallest counting number, which is one. What are the factors of one? Well, one. One is the one factor of one. And as one only has one factor, one is the one counting number that isn't one of the prime and composite numbers. What? I was just trying to drive home the fact. So it just simply means 1 is neither a prime nor composite number. Now let's move on to 2. What are the factors of 2? Well, 1 and 2. So that means 2 is a prime number as it only has 2 factors. So this brings us to our first mission note. 2 is the only even number that is a prime number. The reason for this is that every other even number has 2 as its factor, so that means that they all have at least 3 factors, 1, 2, and themselves. So let's just fill that in on our table. Every even number except 2 is composite. So now we just have to test some odd numbers, and we'll simply do that by checking their number of factors. So let's test 9. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9, so 9 is a composite number. Also notice where I have the 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. Although 3 multiplies by itself to give 9, we only write it once on the factor line. So remember this for future reference. Now 17, and its factors are 1 and 17, so it is a prime number. Then we have 25. Its factors are 1, 5, and 25. So it is a composite number. And lastly, we have 31. Its factors are 1 and 31. So it is a prime number. Wait, wait, do, do you hear that? Oh no, 
They found this place, but but I can't go now. I need to give you your assignment. Okay, I'll leave it to the computer to give you the assignment. I have to go now. Bye. Research one number two and easier is a factor of multiple of.